Around 140 surgeries and other invasive procedures take place in our hospital system each weekday. And at each one, a surgeon will walk into the operating room and find his or her instruments waiting. For surgeons, sterile instruments are like electricity or any other utility. There's a lean system out there delivering what's needed, where and when it's needed, but it's out of sight and out of mind. When a patient decides to go ahead with surgery, the case is scheduled and assigned to an OR suite. Every case gets a doctor preference card, or DPC. It's a checklist of everything the surgeon has requested for the case. Every DPC for every case is printed at 4 p.m. the day before and sent to a department in the hospital's basement called Sterile Processing, or SP. This is Dario, an SP technician known as a puller, loading the case cart with both durable instruments and disposable items as listed on the DPC. Almost a million instruments circulate through SP each month, and some are extremely expensive. Each instrument is barcoded as an efficient, highly reliable method to track it all. Completed carts are staged right here in SP, just in front of the clean elevator, which keeps them out of the OR until they're needed. To minimize cart travel, technicians stage these carts according to the OR layout, so carts won't cross paths on their way to different destinations. Tomorrow, a couple dozen surgical teams will be using these custom carts. On the day of surgery, everything's in place and ready to go. If an instrument is needed unexpectedly, the circulating nurse calls down to request the item and SP sends it up on the dumbwaiter. When the case is complete, the OR sends the instruments back down on the same case cart to be cleaned on the dirty elevator. Best practice requires that contaminated instruments be kept segregated from the clean instruments and clean from sterile. SP's layout is a forcing function in service of this requirement. The layout ensures instruments flow in a single direction from the dirty zone to the clean zone to the sterile zone. Here's a dirty case cart just arrived from the OR. In order for these instruments to pass from this dirty zone to the clean zone, they have to pass through these supersized dishwashers. The clean zone has a factory feel to it. All day, clean instruments enter this zone where they are inspected, kitted, and packed for some future case. It's intricate work executed by skilled specialists. They examine and test the instruments to be sure they're suitable for the next case. Here in the clean zone, multiple stations perform similar functions, but for different customer groups. The process is designed around the customer, not around the functions. Clean instruments go in specialized packaging tolerant of extreme heat, and then run through this wall of industrial sterilizers. But how do we really know they got sterile? SP has multiple quality control mechanisms. This special tape reveals its colored stripes only after it's reached the required temperature in the sterilizer. These vials contain bacteria. It's live going in, and SP has a tester to confirm that it's dead coming out. And they have temperature records produced by the machines on every run. After the sterilizer, the kits go back on the shelves where we started, waiting for the next patient. While they wait, plastic arrow latches prevent accidental opening and let the OR team know that the instruments inside are safe. When it's ready for use, the metallic case breaks the arrow easily. When they're ready to be opened, this specialized technique, called the envelope fold, allows the sterile instrument to be opened with one hand. Sterile processing is a large and sophisticated operation. The professionals in SP are the stewards of our surgical instruments, and an integral part of the system required to provide safe and efficient surgery.